What's up everybody? It's Boondock. It's getting cold out here in Indiana. It's about 20 degrees right now. And uh, people new to keeping chickens might be wondering how to keep their water from freezing in the winter time. So you could go buy a $50 water heater for your their bowl. Or you could do what I did. So I'm going to show you that. What's up girls? What's up? I don't have no treats for you right now. Uh -uh. So this is a, a three gallon water container. This is great to have because I went from half a gallon to I think a one gallon to whatever to a three gallon and I gotta come out here and refill this maybe once every couple weeks. Same thing with their new food dish. This is a three gallon food dish. I fill that up maybe, oh, I don't know. Shake it, get some of that food out of there. Maybe that about once a month with $17 bag of chicken feed. But anyway, I'm not here to explain that. I'm gonna do that in a separate video, uh, having chickens in the suburbs. So, if we take our water container off, what I have here is a 50 watt bulb hooked up to a regular socket and plug that I got from Menards. Um, you can get them at any hardware store. So this cost me, I think, five bucks. And of course the 50 watt bulb, I bought a four pack, so that was probably another five bucks, so that's 10 bucks. And then I have that ran to an extension cord and ran inside the garage to a, uh, a power strip. So in case any water does happen to fall on the light bulb, the power strip will blow. And if the power strip doesn't blow, the, uh, the fuse box will blow. And I'll go inside and show you the power strip I have it hooked up to. Just a regular old power strip. If that light bulb gets any water on it, this is going to pop and shut that power off, preventing a fire. Also, if that doesn't work, it will pop at the fuse box. So we have two layers of protection. And actually three layers of protection because we see there's our extension cord. Uh, I have the water sitting on two cinder blocks. So here's the setup. You have your light bulb and your socket ran inside, hooked to the power strip. I doubled up on the cinder block so that the light bulb would be off the water, I mean off of the wood, and uh, it wouldn't get too hot just in case. I mean, you could probably sit this light bulb on a board forever and it probably wouldn't start a fire, but just as a precautionary measure. Boy, they're hungry today. I guess I, guess I should have filled their food up a little bit more so it could trickle down. It's a good thing I came out here. So then I just have a log here and stuff for them to stand on so they can reach it. But So we'll just place the, the bulb there. And then you obviously carefully, without busting the bulb, place your third cinder block over the top. Uh, I got the double, the double hole one. That way the water bowl isn't sitting right on top of the light bulb. And like I said, I'll, well, I didn't say, but I'll turn the light off, remove that water bowl before refilling it. And since it's a three gallon, I don't have to come out here and mess with it too much. But you have to be very careful, obviously, when you're taking the water bowl off, not to drip water on the light bulb. So we'll put that water bowl back on there. I'll flip this light back on. You can have the light sitting up a little bit against this side of the center block. You just don't want to touch in the bottom of the bowl. Not that I think it would do anything, but just as an extra precautionary measure, it gives them a nice little light at night also. And there it is back on top. Oh, 3.5 gallon, yeah. Not three gallon, 3.5. And like I said, it's like 17 degrees out here. I haven't had, that's about the lowest it's been. I haven't had their water freeze at all at night. Um, the setup works great all together with the cinder blocks 
and the, the 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 outlet and the light bulbs you know you're probably looking at 20 25 dollars and you can go get a expensive one for 60 70 dollars or you can hook this up for 25 dollars so just a uh, method i thought i'd like to share i'm going to be doing another video um on having chickens in the sub suburbs so that's going to be a separate video just kind of explaining uh, if you can and and how you can i'm no farmer so i'm just a guy in the city trying to have free delicious eggs let's see if they got any in here today oh yeah and these are rhode island reds and they make delicious eggs i like to get them warm just right when they right after they came out and eat them up just like that so all right i guess that'll be all for this video See you later.